Okay, this is a, an 11 horse Briggs, stuck that is. Came off a snowblower, and I got this for about five bucks from some guy's house. Real good deal, but it's not really that stuck because I took a pipe wrench, and I put it on here, and with a little bit of pressure, it turned over. And I don't know what's in the head, if there's any rust or junk in there, so. I'm probably going to pull the head off and everything and the carburetor and uh, make sure there's no stuff in there so when I go to start it, it won't ruin anything in there. It does have a straight pipe on it, which if it's the right thread, if I can find it. Well, anyways, I was going to put a little muffler on there <clears throat> so it'll quiet it down a little bit more. And I'll probably run through the carburetor quick to make sure it's all set. But from the looks of it, it probably sat outside and got some moisture in the head. And probably developed a little rust in there and got a bit seized. So I'll just pull it apart, make sure it's all set. And I am pretty confident this one should run real good. Well, I got the cowlings off and it turns out there was a mice nest inside of it. But then again did come from a barn so you gotta kinda expect it but this was probably the worst one I've seen in an engine because they really did a number on some stuff and they've been in here before because someone previously has taped the wires and this time they really really kind of messed this thing up to the magneto because it's all expanded here and it's all starting to flake off and it's all chunky there too which is pretty bad, but <clears throat> if I have one out in the garage, I just might replace it. The only thing is, I'm not too sure because it's got the third uh, magnet on there. And I don't know if I have any like that, but I kind of hope I do. And they really kind of got into the fins a lot. Behind the flywheel too, I think. So I got to pull that off. But... They uh, really kind of messed this up quite a amount. Well, last night managed to get the flywheel off. I put a puller on it and it pretty much almost fell off within about a half a turn, which was nice and it made it a lot easier. Shaft's in great shape. And there wasn't too much stuff behind the flywheel, but under this cover there was some stuff. And it's a little bit corroded back there from the mice nests. And the points are junk. And I found out that if someone had put this on, these wires were not chewed. They connected them because this is a replacement for the points. So you buy this and it takes the place of the points and everything. But I don't know if this engine will run with just a regular magneto or if it needs a special one. Which I kind of hope I have. Which, I don't know, I might. So that's pretty much what's hanging this project up whether I have to buy one or not I'm not too sure and this engine actually really wasn't seized because it, it rolls over fine and there's no rust marks or anything it's a bit black but that should scrape right off there real easy for the most part so I'm not too worried about it but the reason why it was seized is because on the flywheel right about there these parts of the magnetos were rusted to the flywheel from the mice being in there and you couldn't pull it over by hand so that's really all that was hanging it up well the carburetor is apart now it's the last thing I gotta do to the engine except for replacing the fuel line it's actually quite clean inside I just ran some steel wool through there real quick and it seemed like it cleaned it up real nice there's a little bit of uh, stuff stuck down inside there. You can see a ring. And I just ran a wire brush through it and that cleaned up. And the top part of the carburetor almost looked like it was rebuilt at one point or if it was just hardly ever used because it came off a snowblower. So that sure does look nice. And I won't have to replace the gasket because it didn't tear when I took it off. And the float's in great shape. It's got no holes in it. It's not corroded or anything. The needle valve's all good. Butterfly in the top looks nice. It's not rotted out or anything. 
The only thing I gotta do for this is get the plug that goes in the end. Well, it's finally all put back together. Carburetor's put back together and I put some new fuel line on it. I used the original filter because it really had almost no dirt left in it. So it really wasn't that bad. I wiped down the back, cleaned out the fins and everything else in here the best I could. Might need to be power washed when spring rolls around. Hooked the carburetor linkages and everything back up. So they're all set. I just gotta get a muffler for it instead of that stupid straight pipe. So I got one up in the shed. One of the uh, one of those coffee can mufflers. And I'm probably not gonna put the cowling back on over this. Because I know it's not going to go back on a snowblower and it's always nice to get back to the throttle stuff when you need to. And I... The pull cord is kind of broken, but for now it's alright. And the cord itself is actually in real good shape. I guess being a snowblower engine, they don't get used too much anyways, except for one season out of the whole year. But, when you do pull it over, it does sound like it's actually got quite the amount of compression, really. And it's not too bad. I'll probably run a test on it when summer is here, or spring at least. And I can fire up the compressor to use the uh, compression testing kit. Well, here's the 11 horse. I This isn't going to be a cold start, because I just started this about 5 minutes ago just to make sure it would run, because I didn't want to take up too much movie time. But I just got a muffler on there quick, which will work for now. Runs real nice, doesn't even smoke. And I just put a slightly used spark plug in there, and my shut off is this wire right here. I just ground it to the air intake. My plans for this is I'm probably going to use it on a, a tag along backhoe I've been building to run the hydraulic pump if everything goes okay but I have 11 horse Honda that I'd like to use because it's got a tapered shaft and I got no use for it and I'd kind of rather save this for something else but we'll have to see what happens I know if I put it on there I know it's always going to start then again I always know Honda start but does run nice and it was definitely worth it for five bucks, that's definitely for sure. <laughs> 